these balloons when we jump on they go up how do you make balloons that rise let's show you how it's done so the first thing you're going to do is pull out an object when you open up the objects properties you're going to see under the behavior tab you can select interactive give it physics and then under physics you can say use custom gravity once you've selected use custom gravity you can set it to go left or right upwards or down right and back so a negative means it falls down a positive means it falls up so if we set our y to be a positive five you'll see this ball begin to rise this is called the bridge script and the way it works is if we go to our variables tab you're going to see there's an origin rotation variable an origin position variable as well as a balloon variable when world is started we set the balloon gravity to be false and then we set the origin position to be the position of the balloon and the origin rotation to be the rotation of the balloon then when the trigger is entered by a player because this bridge script runs on a trigger we set balloon gravity to be true we then send my event to self after 10 seconds. And then when my event is received, we stop physical motion on the balloon. We cancel sending my event. We set balloon gravity to false. We move the balloon back to the origin position as well as the origin rotation. Pretty simple. And then it allows you to continue doing this over and over. On our balloon object, you're going to see that there is a trigger grouped with a balloon. The trigger runs the script. And then the balloon is actually the entire grouped object. If we zoom in and open up the trigger properties panel, can zoom out now. You can see that the bridge script has been attached to the trigger and then we just reference using this reference group right to here and now that the group of the balloon and the trigger is referenced it'll rise up. Let's go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple! Bye!